Hey, it's Frankie. Frankie Beaumont. You did some stunt driving with a movie back in the UK. People said we... look alike. Anyways, I could use a hand with something. It's like looking in a mirror. Right? I mean, the perfect stunt double is an identical twin. You said you wanted some driving lessons. Get in! Let's go! So, there's a new movie. Vanguard Force 10. Yeah, I've seen the teasers. And I had fun driving stunts in the last one. Right. The director is insisting we do our own stunts this time round. So I need to get decent after the standard you set on the last one. Have to do your own stunts? Well, let's see what we can do. That's, uh, the Stockholm slide. We've already started filming. It's hopeless. I'll never impress Victor Garcia Hernandez as a driver or legitimate dramatic actor. Actually, I have an idea. Since, you know, there's a bit of resemblance here. What if we don't tell anyone and, um, hang on. You do the driving and I do the acting. I think we could pull that off. Don't sweat the dialogue, mate. We'll get that later. You just focus on your driving. Okay, Mike. Will do. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> mm. Mate, come see me after we cut. I'll get you some lozenges or something. Scene 15. Downhill escape stunt sequence. Action! Right, old Victor. And this is the very first shot of the movie, yeah? No intro, just straight in with the car chases. Well, you're the genius. Very good, Mike. I'm in the helicopter. I look forward to seeing what our driver can do. That was Mike Steele. He does the stunt direction, while Victor is the overall director. Seems like he bought it. Obstacles ahead. You haven't done this before. Just keep your foot down and take the heat, okay? <laughs> Not the first time. Now, keep a tight line through here. I don't know about Victor, but that looks mint to me. Says he likes to have a god's eye view. Hang on, I'll put him on. We are the stuff that dreams are made of, my friends. Vehicle is our canvas, the car our paintbrush, and Vanguard Force 10 would be our masterpiece. Andro, let's go! <laughs>
100 meters. Turn left. make this work. Mike and his crew are ready for the next stunt. I snuck away to my trailer to call you. Victor thinks I'm <laughs> preparing. All these adventures look amazing. Glad I don't have to pick one. In 200 meters, you have arrived at your destination. Right. Keep it in the river along here, and upright if you can, Frankie. Scene 23. Mad Alice. Action! <laughs> Alex's last chance. Without this vehicle, we will not be able to trigger the Dimension Portal. There will be explosions and many digital things. But the truth is in the vehicle, in the way you drive. Make me believe. The surface is rough through here. But push through it. Give it some. is notoriously difficult to please, but he loves your driving, Frankie. Ready for the next setup? C25! One flew over Cobalt's nest! Action! Now the supplies are delivered. Alex Cobalt must escape, not from aliens, but from a phantasmagoria of fears and doubts tracing all the way back through everything you have experienced. I don't know what a phantasmagoria is, but I've whacked a Rally V8 in that thing, so give it the guts. <laughs> Barricades and ramps ahead. Keep your speed up. Hard turn onto some winding roads up ahead.
did you learn to drive like that, Frankie? So, I have some ideas for some improvisation. We could do a scene along the beach, or around the airplane graveyard. I'm not sure which, so you choose. The airfield? Yeah, I think we can make that work. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Victor has handed this one off to me. He's working on something new for the ending, and that has me worried. Anyways, go for it, Frankie, and let's get this one! Improv scene! Beach rush! Action! We've got debris along the beach. Dodge that, and keep away from the houses. Otherwise, there's people who have to edit it all out digitally, frame by frame. Brilliant, kid! I mean, Frankie, sorry, don't know why I said kid there. Take this footage to Victor. Wait till he sees what his superstar, sorry, movie star can do.
still not talking, eh, Frankie? What a surprise. Let's get on with it. Improv scene! Search scene! Action! <laughs> yeah, so the search is part of the flashback in Act 3. The script is something. I have no idea how it's gonna work. Just throw the car around a bit or something? Huh? I haven't seen driving like that since... Well, anyways, slam the route and... Improvise! With your car? Stick to the runway, Carmack! That's where we have the best camera coverage. Frankie, mate, you'll have to put me in touch with your driving instructor. I think Mike is onto us. Yeah. We'll have to dial it back a little. Tell Victor is really behind the wheel. Kidding, Frankie, I'm just kidding. Right, we've got another stunt. Drop by when you have a move. Horizon Arcade will begin soon. Why not say hello to the other drivers whilst you wait? Hola, amigo. I was talking to someone who found a classic car in Granero somewhere in this area. Would you be interested in restoring a pickup truck? You have arrived at your destination. Well, well, if it isn't the two masterminds caught in the act. Can't believe I didn't recognize your driving sooner, kid. Uh, uh, Mike, glad you're here. How do you like this, uh, this dummy the art department made? It's, um, it's very realistic. Save it, Frankie. This is a brilliant idea. 
But if you're going to keep Victor in the dark, he'll need my help. It's nice to be working with you again, Mike. You can talk. I never expected that. Uh, look, get in the car. We've got a big jump to do. Scene 43. Time travel volcano jump. Action! Uh, Mike, did you just say volcano jump? Come on now, kid. I saw the opening ceremony. I'm right up the hill, kid. That stunt vehicle is a Mike Steel Special. Custom engine and suspension. <laughs> Keep this between us, yeah? No need for Victor to know. Hey there, kid. We've got a new stunt set up. Drop by when you can. You have arrived at your destination. there, Frankie. Uh, no, no, don't talk. We have to protect that nice, bankable accent of yours. Get in the car. I'll explain the stunt as we go. Scene 68. Dr. Strangeguard. Action! Careful up ahead. Watch the turn. of another Frankie relaxing in his trailer with a mug of lemon tea? Oh, uh, that was a dummy. It was a stunt dummy. Gotta go, Victor. Bye. Hey, I always have a role in the movies I make. I was Pursuit Beast number two in the one we made in the UK. <laughs> the one that ran into the wall? I love 
up that bit. Very funny, Captain Silent protagonist. Now drive. Good to be working with you again, Frankie. Oh, too close by half. Let's get this done. Kid, we have a small problem on Vanguard. Meet me and Frankie when you can. Arrived at your destination. Team 95, highway escape. Action! Talk me through this. What's my motivation? So, it's a race, basically. Gotta outrun the pursuit car. I can explain, Mike. And that is an excellent accent, Frankie. Uh, you have hidden depths. This is an escape, of course. The self-replicating control system is intent on stopping you. It has commandeered a pursuit vehicle. You must escape it. If it helps, imagine the pursuit vehicle has a number of hilarious lines of dialogue. Perhaps even emerging as the true star of this movie. <laughs> you push, little bird. <laughs> gonna look great and there we go that's done only one more stunt to do I'll call you when we're set up hey kid next scene set up meet me with the stunt unit one fully restored Dodge Viper ACR for you if you care to stop by. You have arrived at your destination.
Right. This is the last shot we need to get. Should be easy. What could go wrong? Scene 107. Data upload stunt sequence. Action! <laughs> right, we've got other stunt drivers in traffic vehicles. Dodge and weave, and get to the destination as quick as you can. <laughs> pieces together, past, present, future, messages and themes come across the franchise coming together, not resolved, never resolved. <laughs> Don't worry about all that past, present theme stuff. Let's just get it. It's done before he rumbles us. <laughs> Destination now. Just get there. <laughs> there we go. Cut and print it there. Stunt units are wrapped on Vanguard Force 10. It's up to Victor in the editing booth now. He's not the type of director to change his mind or ask for reshoots, or anything like that, right? Mike's going off the deep end. Something about product placement. Can you drop by? Easy, Frankie. I'm on my way. Got your stag ready. Better be quicker, I'm keeping it. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Recalculating route. You have arrived at your destination. There's a new scene. Apparently, we need to take advantage of the presence of a major cultural event to root the story in the zeitgeist. Uh, zeit what now? 
Get in the car, kid. I'll explain. enough for him, right? Right, kid. We're back in it. Get here when you can. Another stuff. <laughs> I'll be right there. Hey there. So, I just got off the phone with the director, and he wants one more stunt. And not just any stunt. He wants me to jump across the bay, being chased by a cargo plane. And there's dialogue all over it, so no driver swapping. I think it's time we fessed up to Victor. Hang on. If we can't swap drivers, why don't we swap cars? With one waiting in the motorway tunnel. Right. I need props and another hero car. Do we even have another hero car? Yes, we do! The one that was too fast for anyone to drive. I'll get it ready over at the bridge. Scene 117. One take. Action. I'll do the first section and you take over at the tunnel. We can do this, Frankie. Just drive casual. Now, Frankie, it is time. We must close the loop, combine the dimensions, and transform this conflict into art. Got a bad feeling about this. See, see, you are being torn apart from the inside. It's almost as if there is another Alex Kobo straining, fighting to take control. Understand? Uh, and fine. Gonna make it! Go, go, quick! 
I can't act and drive at the same time. The plane's spinning up. Get to the airfield. Go, go, go! The car's a bit of a handful. This is the high power one Victor asked for, but we never used, so, uh, enjoy? <laughs> Whoa! This thing can move! Provide something for me, please. Uh, I have to return to the future. See, see, it will be in. You capture the conflict perfectly. in the feeds. Amazing work. Great driving. And, I mean, reasonable acting, too. Right, kid. We're back in it. Get here when you can. Another stop. <laughs> I'll be right there. At the roundabout... arrived at your destination. Right, this is a post credit scene. And according to the call sheet, Victor wants... uh... both of you. Both of us? He doesn't know I exist, right? Scene 121A. The two Alexes. Action! Hey, what do you say we make this one real? Oh, you know it! See you at the finish line! Ah, yes, this is what we have been working toward. The within made manifest. The conflict real. The outcome unknowable. My greatest work. <laughs> A clever wasik. <laughs> Definitely, positively, a wrap. So, Victor's asked me to join his remake of Rendezvous. Turns out he saw the thing we did in Edinburgh. It's a huge opportunity. And all thanks to you, kid. Actually, you know, I've got this idea. It's about twins who fight crime. In cars? I'm in. Tell me more. 